Now, the WHO launched a new strategy to address the problem of anti-malarial anti drug resistance here in Africa. What does this strategy entail? Thank you very much. Um, as you have mentioned, Africa actually bears the brunt of the global malaria burden with 96% of all malaria cases on the continent. Now, this strategy is a proactive approach to prevent the, the increased mortality or increased deaths that are projected might happen if we allow drug resistance to take hold on the continent. So this means that we are calling upon all countries that have malaria to strengthen their surveillance, look actively for these parasites that have developed some form of resistance and find strategies to tackle it so that there is no more spreading so that we can continue on this fight to eliminate malaria in Africa. Who are you targeting and how are you going to implement this strategy? Um, the strategy actually targets everyone, all our stakeholders in malaria control and elimination on the continent. Our national governments have a key role to play. Uh, we are also looking at donors, not forgetting the private sector, including those who manufacture the anti-malarial med anti medicines, because what we are looking for is quality medicines that are delivered in a timely manner and also stored and made available to all people whenever they re need them. We are also wanting to target communities, people affected by malaria, that they understand their role in combating anti-malarial resistance. Not forgetting research and academic communities to look for new drugs, new strategies, so that we keep this momentum in fighting malaria continuing on the continent until we eliminate this disease.